Hello guys, this is your reading for September. This is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <coughs> What's going on with Gemini and love for the month of September? Please show me. Gemini and love for September. Okay, so let's see what this is. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could definitely be somebody that you're thinking about that's thinking about you. Or this is just the energy that you guys are taking on, a very fiery energy, um, wanting to take action on something, tired of thinking about it, and just ready to do it, okay? Could be a business venture for some of you that you are quite enthused about <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands energy. Who's crossing Gemini? Who's crossing Gemini? Ooh, the devil. You know, this is this is a strong sexual attraction um, for someone. Okay, Capricorn energy there could be a fire energy that has Capricorn in your chart that you're very attracted to. This could be also the energy that you guys are taking on if you're starting a business endeavor and you're just really focused on that right now. But I feel like this is a love story. So. This is somebody that you have had, I feel like, a toxic um, situation with, but at the same time feeling very drawn to this person, very attracted to this person, almost like this person is um, your addiction, okay? I feel like you don't want it to be, though. Let's see what this is. There you are. You don't want it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like right now you guys are really wanting to take action on something, feeling very enthused about it, caring for this person, loving this person. I'm feeling loving this person. This person doesn't know that though, because here you are. They don't know that. To them, it seems like you don't care, that you don't have these um, very strong feelings for them could be a lot of male Gemini's that are watching this right now or either you guys are in your very masculine energy and um, the roles are reversed okay underlying issue for Gemini the hermit hmm there's something that you're trying to figure out that happened um, before in the past something you're trying to wrap your head around currently with the king of swords showing up figure out what went wrong really kind of looking back at the past and thinking you know was this person the one are they still the one I feel you guys looking for someone here looking for answers as well Virgo energy there. What's going on in the recent past for Gemini? Seven of Wands. Hmm. <sighs> There's some contradicting energy here, to be honest with you. Um, in one sense, you want to fight for this Queen of Wands, but in another, I feel like, you know, you guys have this blocked energy where you're very defensive towards this person. And I think that is, that is because of like this toxic connection, relationship that you had with this person previously. You really don't know what to do with them. But I see you trying to figure things out here. <clears throat> Leo energy there. With the Seven of Wands. Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Ace of Swords. You know, you guys are wanting to have a conversation here. There's a conversation that you feel like needs to happen. Because there's something that you've realized about this person. 
and maybe that is through your your soul searching um, evaluation of past events of your history with this person hmm. it's coming in for Gemini's it's coming in for Gemini's ten of wands you guys are ready to start over you're ready to like you know throw caution to the wind I feel like and it, stop just carrying around this this back and forth energy this indecisiveness not knowing what to do it's like damn it I'm just gonna do it you're tired you're tired of all the thinking you're tired of all the evaluating and analysis picking apart this situation and you're just wanting to start over ready to do something new Sagittarius energy there how is Gemini viewing this situation currently? How is Gemini viewing this? Okay, let's see what this is. I have three cards here. Here we go. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Very slow. Very slow. Contemplating. Analyzing. Planning. Evaluating. Then you have the Eight of Cups here. I see you guys moving towards somebody very slowly or either wanting to move towards somebody very slowly but you haven't I don't see that you have because see with the two of wands there it's like you know not doing anything knowing what it, oh, I'm holding that up too high knowing what it is that you need to do And going back, because this state right here is not serving you. Just waiting around, knowing what it is that you should be doing, what you want to do, but just kind of like off in la la land. Um, that's not serving you. And I see you ready to like move forward, but it's taking you a little while. It's taking you some time because, you know, and you're still wanting to really think about this and make sure that you're making the right decision I feel how is Gemini viewing this situation the lovers you've got to make that choice you've got to make the decision that this is what you want excuse me that this is worth it making a strong solid decision about your situation here you know you have to is a thing. This is your card. Choosing this person. Or choosing yourself even. It's up to you. But this is what you're thinking about. You love this person. You love this person. What is the influence here for Gemini? What is the influence for Gemini? Five of Wands, there was a lot of conflict between the two of you. Um, you may have had different suitors, people that were interested in you, or this other person has suitors that you feel like you, you may have to contend with. And that may be like kind of pushing you to go ahead and make a decision because, you know, I mean, they could be gone. They could definitely be gone. You guys are really conflicted here. We go from ten of wands to the five of wands. You're really conflicted about should you put in the work. Still on that fence, like just kind of riding it. But you know you have to make a decision about this this person, this situation soon. You feel that. Hopes or fears for Gemini. Queen of Cups, that this person will not, your fear is that this person will not have the same feelings for you that they once had, that they will not be willing to embrace you once more. Cancer energy there. 
this right here I feel excuse me <laughs> this right here is like um, the Empress energy this person is very attractive to you and I feel like they are you know outwardly attractive as well But when you guys get together, I feel like this person's very emotional sometimes. Um, you're hoping that they're in control of their emotions because you guys, you know, you're very logical and all that overly emotional bullshit is how you see it sometimes. It's like you can do without it. But at the same time, you know, they're very fiery, very attractive, very alluring. Yeah, I can feel like the, um, almost like the, the tension, sexual tension, and then you kind of going back and forth in your head like, I don't know, because this person can have a temper as well. What's the overall for Gemini? Overall for Gemini. Six of one, success being recognized for your efforts here. I feel like this situation, um, I feel like you guys definitely can work together. I feel like it's going to be challenging here. For sure. But as long as the truth is spoken, you guys share the truth between the two of you. I feel like this can definitely be worked out. But there is always the possibility of this toxic energy returning so keep that in mind but in order for that to like to keep that at bay um, both both parties just need to be willing to compromise and respect each other's boundaries is the thing so we have Leo we have Cancer Capricorn um, Sagittarius Aries um, in Virgo energy is present you have strong fire in your reading today all right guys so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now